Hello, I welcome you all to today's lesson where we are going to revise through questions that may come in an exam that falls under group 2 elements. I said that group 2 elements are called alkaline earth metals. This is a name that is given to group 2 elements that are found on the periodic table. So these are questions that we revised through yesterday. And uh, some of you answered, some of you were failing to understand the questions, hence you were writing what you are not supposed to do. So, the first question here is saying, this is a property of group 2 element, which is saying that group 2 elements react with acids to form a salt and hydrogen gas. So, we've got a term here, which is a salt, you are given a salt and acid so you get any group 2 elements if you react it with a with an acid you are going to form a salt and hydrogen gas these are the products that are going to be formed so in other words you know that when you get any group 2 element for instance let us get magnesium any group 2, just pick any group 2 element. So magnesium plus, you react it with that one. You react it with hydrochloric acid. What are you going to form this side? So you are going to form what? Magnesium chloride, which is like this. Magnesium chloride plus what? Hydrogen gas. I've already told you that you form a salt and hydrogen gas so this is what this is an equation it is called the chemical equation you look at this is this balanced no you put a two there and it is what balanced this is what you need to do so hydrogen to hydrogen to chlorine to chlorine to so just like this this is what balanced so you go to what magnesium and react it with hydrochloric acid. This is what you need to do. This is a group 2 element. So this lesson is just based on group 2 elements. Everything that we'll be discussing, everything that we'll be dealing with, will be based on group 2 elements. So this is what we are supposed to get. So what if I get the same magnesium I react it with what? Magnesium. I react it with this one. This is called nitric acid. So it is like this. This is nitric acid. This is how it is. So what is going to be formed? I believe we've all understood how to write chemical formulas. So I want to shed more light on this part because most of you don't know how to write chemical formulas how to come up with chemical correct chemical formulas so what you need to know is this maybe there is someone who didn't understand who didn't understood this part how this came about so group 2 elements like this these ones are in group 2 which means for them to be stable they must lose two electrons that is one of their properties for these group 2 elements, for them to be stable, they must lose two electrons. So it means losing attracts a positive charge like this. Then you are getting chlorine. Chlorine is in group 7 of the periodic table. All the elements in group 7, they need to gain one electron for them to be stable. Because we understand that elements that are in group 7, they have got 7 electrons in their outermost shell meaning for chlorine to be stable it must gain one electron so gaining one electron it attracts a negative charge so these valences are going to interchange these are called valences so they are going to interchange this is one who come here these two comes there so we when we combine these we are going to form something that will look like this one here then chlorine like this, and the two there. But since there is a one here, that's why we don't show a one. One we don't show. So this is 
how the formulas come about. Have you seen like this? This is how I've written that one. That is magnesium chloride. This is what you need to understand. So the valences are going to interchange. You interchange their valences. This is what you need to understand. Because some people write like this. And say this is magnesium chloride. No, this is not a correct formula for magnesium chloride. So now, I'm having magnesium. I've got magnesium like this. I need to react it with a nitrate here. So a nitrate, which is like this. What is the variance of a nitrate? It has got a negative one there. This one, you know that it is two plus like this. You can do this. So meaning that these, their variances are going to interchange. So when their variances interchange, what you are going to have is that these two comes this side. So since there is a three here, if I put a two here, like, is it going to make sense? No, I'm going to have a third two here. So it means I need to put these in brackets like this and put a two outside. This one comes there like that. So meaning I'm going to form something that will look like this magnesium. I do this, then open bracket. This one, we don't show it. Then I say NO3, I close, then a 2 outside like this. Then I say plus hydrogen gas. I know that hydrogen gas will be produced. This is the property that we are looking at. They react with acids to produce a salt and hydrogen gas. Have you seen what I've formed now? So this is what we are talking about. So this is a correct formula for what? This is a correct formula for magnesium nitrate. This is nitric acid, but this one it, on its own, this is called nitrate. So this is magnesium nitrate. So when you want to write magnesium nitrate, this is the correct formula for magnesium nitrate. This is what you need to know and understand. Have you seen the way in which I've written this one? But in a case, when I just tell you that, give me the correct formula for magnesium nitrate. There's no need of writing chemical formulas, chemical equations. You just give me the formula. This is the formula. Just do it. Just write it nicely like this. This is the correct formula for what? Magnesium nitrate. If I tell you to give me the name, chemical name, you say this is what? Magnesium nitrate. Like this. So, Mostly people don't understand the language of chemistry. This one here, this is called the chemical formula. So if I tell you, give me the chemical formula, just this one is enough. When I tell you, give me a name or a chemical name, this is what you are supposed to do. But in a case where I'm telling you to give me a chemical formula, you are giving me a chemical equations, then you are not understanding the language of chemistry. So the language of chemistry should be understood clearly before entering into the exam. So we've got a lot of uh, elements from group 2. So this one, this work I gave you to do, I discovered that some people were even getting as far as copper, silver. We are on group 2 elements. I'm not saying you're not supposed to get those, but... We are discussing about group 2 elements. So group 2 elements, you also have barium. Barium is there. So when you get barium, you react it with hydrochloric acid. What are you going to form? Like hydrochloric acid. What are you going to form? You are going to form what? Barium chloride. And the two there. This one is in group 2. This one seven it has got one two so they are going to interchange barium chloride like this plus what hydrogen gas have you seen so if you want to balance this you just put a two there it is already balanced if you get barium you react it with nitric acid 
so you react it with nitric acid like this what you are going to form now will be like this this one will be what barium since this one has got a two so this two comes here this one has got this this is nitrate it has got a one it comes here one so we don't show a one then you just do this plus hydrogen gas have you seen this is what you are supposed to do so if you want to balance this you put a two i remember the first one that i wrote here i didn't balance it i believe you were able to notice that so this is how we are supposed to do so these ones are called chemical equations so don't misunderstand these two chemical formulas and chemical equations this one here this is called the chemical formula just this one it is called the chemical formula this one here is called the chemical what a chemical formula but this whole thing here it is called a chemical equations chemical what equation so there are two we call them chemical equations this is what you are supposed to get and understand so let's make sure that we understand this even as we get to move even as we get to advance in this so this is just the first question where i was saying that group two elements react with acids to form a salt and hydrogen gas you know that a salt is a compound formed when the hydrogen ion of an acid are fully or partially depressed by a metal or ammonium so this is a metal that is repressing the hydrogen ion that is in an acid have you seen it is repressing this from the definition of a salt then we know what acids are acids these are compound when dissolved in water produces hydrogen as the only positively charged particle have you seen so this is what you need to know so an acid when it is dissolved it is going to produce hydrogen as the only positive recharged so this is what you are supposed to get know and understand let us now look at uh, another question so another question was uh, very simple so this question was uh, very simple this question was very simple i expected people to get everything i expected people to answer everything it was saying give three this was the question so give three correct chemical formula and names of metal oxides from group two so this property this is a property that states that when a group two element reacts with oxygen what is formed is a metal oxide you are going to produce a metal oxide this is what i said so now we are basing our knowledge on group two elements so everything we'll be doing will be getting what group two elements so the question was saying correct what chemical formula not equations so correct chemical formula three so you say the first one the first one you say group two so you can pick magnesium if you pick magnesium like this you know that this one is in group two like this oxygen is in group six it has got two minus so it means they are going to cancel out what you are going to form is what magnesium oxide just like this so this is a metal oxide have you seen so now the question was not telling you everything will be looking like this because they are going to be having two two so they'll be canceling out so you say you start by giving a name you say magnesium magnesium oxide so magnesium oxide the chemical formula is what like this you are done so you've given a name and a chemical formula this is a chemical what this is a chemical formula you move to the next one we've got a lot we can talk of what barium you can talk of barium oxide how is barium oxide barium oxide like this this is what barium oxide 
you know, this one too, too, they are going to cancel. So everything will just be looking like that. You move to the third one. You can talk of calcium. Calcium oxide like this. Calcium oxide. So you understand the question very well. Calcium oxide like this. So this is what calcium oxide. So I believe you know how to write chemical formulas. Like this, have you seen the same way? So all these are called metal oxides. This is what you need to know and understand. These are called metal oxides. So the, this is very simple to get. This is very simple to know and to understand. No one can fail this. This is very simple and uh, very easy to answer even in an exam. So all these are group 2 elements. I haven't picked any elements that is outside group 2. This one is a group 2 element. This one is a group 2 element. Even calcium is a group 2 element. So you can pick strontium. You can pick anything, any element from group 2. You react it with oxygen. Then you see the product that you are going to form. So this is what you need to know and understand. So when I tell you write magnesium oxide, so the reason why we are discussing through this is so that you even know, you improve in chemistry, how to come up with chemical formulas, correct chemical formulas. You are even understanding the language of chemistry. So this is what you are supposed to do. This is what you need to get and understand. The other thing that uh, I want us to discuss about, the last thing that uh, we are going to talk about is uh, ionic compounds formed with uh, group 2 elements. So ionic, we are talking about ionic compounds. So ionic compounds formed. So the ionic compounds formed with group 2, formed with group two elements so group two elements so those that are formed with group two what elements ionic compound formed with group two elements so what we are going to do is that you know that an ionic compound this is a compound that exists between negative and positive recharged atoms so each time you react a metal and a non-metal, you come up with an ionic compound. A compound, this is a chemical combination of two or more atoms or elements. So now you get those ones like magnesium chloride. Have you seen magnesium what? Magnesium chloride. So magnesium chloride like this. Don't forget to put a two. This is a chemical formula. You can talk of calcium chloride. Have you seen? So these ones are the simple ones that someone must be able to write. You've got barium chloride. Like this. All these are, are very simple to know and to understand. So all these are what? All these are ionic compounds. We've got this is magnesium chloride. A metal and a non-metal. This is calcium chloride, metal, and non-metal. All these are from what? All these are from group 2. So I think this is very simple. You just need to know and understand what you are told and what you are required. So this is what we are supposed to know and understand. Once we understand what we are told, if you are told to write chemical, here you were told to write chemical formulas. So just these are chemical formulas of ionic compounds with the group 2 elements. These are chemical formulas. But if you are told to give a name, you put a name. If this is magnesium chloride, calcium chloride, barium chloride. You give a name. If you are told to write chemical equations, you know that what you are going to do with this. You write the equation. The equation of showing you how to go about that. No one can face challenges on that. So you need to know the difference between a chemical formula and a chemical equation, even a name. 
So you answer a question according to what you are told. I believe this video has helped us to devise through some important stuff that you are supposed to know and understand. Thank you so much.